are you doing? So we are celebrating my great grandmother's 100th birthday. So what we had planned obviously changed. We had a ton of food, you guys. So much food was there. And we had pulled pork, which is was so good. So this is Logan's favorite meal. He can eat it every day of the week if you let him. Uh, it tastes like General Chew's chicken, but it's called honey garlic chicken with rice. Tuesday, healthy ramen noodles, Victoria's favorite. Are you guys seeing a thing in here? Um, so the picture doesn't have vegetables in it, and it's because Victoria ate all the vegetables out of it before I could snap the picture. Wednesday. Okay, guys, I always forget to take a picture, but one of the club local clubs around here, they do once a month a chicken barbecue that is beyond delicious. And we always get it. And I always forget to take a picture. So that's why sometimes those weeks are like, they're awkward. <laughs> Thursday, Philly cheese steak. Guys, it was so good. And we put nacho cheese on it. Oh my gosh, the best. So we did not add onions and peppers. Onions, um, the kids and Robert don't like them and peppers robert is allergic to so they're not in there it's just a plain philly cheesesteak friday chicken and broccoli casserole okay so the kids everybody seemed to like it i really didn't i don't know if the um french onions weren't cooked long enough i don't know what the deal is but i really wasn't a fan of it Happy 4th of July! So the kids made a cookie pizza. It was so good, you guys. Um, I didn't follow specific recipes, so maybe I'll try and make a recipe. Um, put everything together and just write it all down for you guys. And for dinner we had barbecue, hot dogs, and baked beans, and some people had burgers. Quick and easy for 4th of July. So on Sunday, we had frozen pizza. Guys, I don't take pictures of this stuff. But I did want to share a little tip. We make um, pancakes. Usually they're big enough to go in the toaster. But these ones happen to be a little too small, so they had to go in the microwave. But we make pancakes ahead of time, just small ones that will fit in the toaster. And we freeze them. And then whenever the kids want pancakes, we just pop them in the toaster. And boom, pancakes for breakfast. That's the topping for the parmesan encrusted tilapia. So mix that. I just have to add some water. We have this bowl here for the people who don't like mustard. Good. And then this is the dry. Okay, so we have pinko breadcrumbs, some salt, and some cheese in there. And we're about to get started. Okay, so here they are, ready to go in the oven. They got the delicious crust on them and that one just has an egg mixture that has everything in the ingredients um it says to fry them we're gonna bake them and we'll see how it turns out oh. we have a storm coming so i quickly mixed everything together this is all the ingredients and the noodles and they're going in the oven at 350. Okay, so I forgot we had to cover it with tin foil. So I covered it with tin foil. And because they're frozen, I have to bake them for 45 minutes. 
We'll see you then. So we actually doubled this recipe because Robert and Victoria don't eat fish. And the kids love ravioli. So it we used two bags of the family size frozen raviolis. And then it takes cream and chicken soup. Um, two cans of cream and chicken soup. This is a doubled version. Two cups of pesto. One cup of milk. That's all that's in it. And you guys, so good. Oh my gosh. It's not like over pesto-y where it's like, oh, I can't. It's too rich. It's not like that. It's so delicious. They loved it. There was some leftovers because like I said, we made extra. They eat them for lunches. And the biggest regret I have from that dinner is not making more of the tilapia for Logan and I. So they were, um, they were thin and small. And um, we both wanted more. It was so good. And by the way, I forgot to take a picture. So that's why you see just like a little two bites on a plate because I forgot. It was so good though, you guys. Must try. Tuesday, Logan's favorite, taco pizza. Okay guys, so if you notice, I covered more of the pan this time. So I bought the no name brand of crescent rolls and when I rolled it out, it covered the pan. Now, my feelings. I thought that the name brand was more flavorful and puffed up a little um, than the no name, name. So this is the first time in a recipe I prefer the name brand over the no name brand. Um, so that's it. There it is. We made it before. Check out our other video to see uh, how we made it, but kids love it. We all do. Hello, today is a rainy, rainy day. So today we decided, so today we're going to have, well, we didn't decide. Today we're going to have, um, chicken and dumplings in the crock pot. And the kids are going to help me, so we're going to do that. And if everything works out, we're also going to be making a banana, I don't know, cream pie? I don't know what it is, but you'll see. Okay, so here's everything we need. Chicken soup, Mommy, garlic, clove, uh, um, chicken seasoning, Mommy, a bouillon. And I'm putting in some chicken thighs. We'll pull the skin out later. And that's all we need. It has to go in the crock pot. It only takes one clove of garlic. Just doesn't seem like enough. But if you don't have garlic, you could live without it. You don't notice it. Go ahead. Put it in. Yay! Okay, go ahead. Put the bullion in. She broke it up a little. Okay, that's good, that's good. So it says to do three cups of chicken broth, but one of these boxes is four cups, so I'm not gonna put a cup aside. We're just gonna put it in. Go ahead. And then next goes chicken. Okay, so I am doing the clove of garlic because it's just too hard for the kids to do. And apparently me too, hold on. So I'm putting it in? Yeah, you can put it in, but be careful because there's a thing in the bottom usually. Oh, the toy shop. I'm putting it in, Mom said. Me too. You know, I'll let you put it in, but I need you to work with me. That's it. Don't push it. Just leave it. Good job. Okay, we got four hours left. Let's see. It's looking good. 
looking good. Okay, let's see. Look at that. Ooh. So what we're gonna do is take the skin off the chicken. It's going bye bye We're gonna take the bones out, break up the chicken, stir it up. I need to, there's an hour left, hour and 12 minutes. I need to get the biscuits going and they need to be flattened, cut, and put in here for the last hour. So that is next. Okay, so I decided to take them out and put them on a plate. That's the bones and the skin. And I use these little tongs, little, they're huge, <laughs> to break it up. I am going to put it all back in there and then work on the biscuits. Okay, so since I'm a one-man show, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. These are gonna be opened up. I'm gonna flatten them with this little guy and cut them into strips and throw them in the dinner. Victoria, only the cut ones. Like these. Oh, I forgot to lift them up. See, I have some small ones. I guess I shouldn't have done that. I'd rather leave them big, I think. I don't know. We'll see how they come out. I may just like the small ones. You know I mean? Go easy, don't squish them together. My baby doll. Mm -hmm. My favorite one dinner. Mine dinner. That potato is so good. Yeah. Oh, we're making real mashed potatoes, and I think we're gonna use beef broth. No. Because we used all the chicken in here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Moment of truth. very bright colors but the kids have been dying for some cauliflower so okay so I didn't take a picture of this night's dinner guys it wasn't good I'm not even trying to sugarcoat it you need to use the homemade dumplings I did not like it with the uh, store-bought biscuits um, Victoria just flat out refused to eat them she picked them out of her meal and then ate it it was good without the biscuits, so if you just want to make like a chicken and gravy type deal, totally go for it, but it was not, it, oh, it was, it didn't taste good. I did not like that. Nobody really liked it. I mean, we ate it, but nobody really liked it and it won't be, you, it won't be seen again. Okay, tonight is the lasagna. One jar of sauce is just not enough. Look how dry it looks. I'll let you know how it tastes. But it's meat, it's got no ricotta. It's just meat, sauce, cheese, noodles. We use one pound of meat, one box of noodles, and we got extra. And, uh, Cheese, two cups mozzarella. That's it. 
it was delicious one cup of sauce even though it looks dry in this picture was good was enough um we did one cup of sauce one pound of meat one box of noodles and by the way for anybody who doesn't know you need to pre-cook everything and then put it all together Friday, turkey, cheddar, and broccoli pumpkins. So these are the kids. Both kids love them. But for mostly Logan. So this is what we had Friday night. Um, so good. And we made the pizza dough the night before. I got to share that recipe. I'll share that recipe below. Saturday, we just had pizza. Nothing exciting. You know, I don't take pictures of it. I'm gonna try. I really am, guys. 